Oompa Boompa. <laughs> Albert Einstein. In the park, the entire playground seems to be the same. There are always swings, always a seesaw, and the merry-go-round, which is full of little girls and boys today. In the corner of the park, Emma sees a shiny green slide. There's something strange about that slide, but her feet move toward the mysterious slide, as if she isn't controlling them. The girl climbs the stairs. And when she gets to the top, she takes a deep breath and slides. Suddenly, everything around her is transformed. For a few moments, there's only darkness until Emma falls. The slide made her appear in another world. The magic slide has taken her to the past. Where am I? Wonders Emma. There's a chalkboard and a man with messy white hair who is writing letters and numbers. Am I in a classroom? Thinks the girl. But there aren't any students. Sir, sorry for bothering you. Where are we? Who are you? Oh, child! What a shock! My name is Albert Einstein. What is your name? My name is Emma. Is this a school? Well, this is my laboratory. But on second thought, it is a similar place. Because I study a lot here, I ask myself questions, and I make mistakes. And that's how my day goes. So you're a scientist? Emma looks at Albert Einstein's hair and asks, And do all scientists wear their hair like you? Long, white, and messy? <laughs> Perhaps, Emma. But if you like to comb your hair, you can also be a scientist one day. In his childhood, Albert Einstein was a shy and quiet boy. He was also very curious and really liked numbers. Another thing he liked to do was play the violin. And what do you study here, Mr. Einstein? Asked the girl. Hmm. What interests me is knowing how the universe works. I've always been interested in trying to understand everything. Will you join me? The train must be about to go by, but where have I left my keys? Emma smiles and tells him, You don't see them? You have them in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> On the sidewalk, they both see a train go by, and they can see the people who are traveling in a window. Do you see that train with the passengers? Asks the scientist. Emma nods. What I wonder is whether the time will pass for them, as it does for those of us who are standing here watching. The scientist keeps thinking and says to Emma, In history, it has always been thought that time is absolute, child. And I'm studying it, and I believe that time is relative to the observer's state of motion. Emma looks at him in complete silence. Emma, are you okay? The girl smiles. Yes, Mr. Einstein. I don't understand anything you're saying, but I'm glad that you're discovering something so important. <laughs> it is a somewhat difficult subject, Emma, which is why I've been studying it for years. If you're interested, I have no doubt that you'll be able to study it and understand it. That's how Albert Einstein introduced the theory of relativity and a ton of other ideas and inventions that would change the way we live even today. Well, I have to go now. It's been a pleasure meeting you, says Emma. Don't you get tired of thinking so much sometimes? Is it very hard to understand what the universe is like? Oh, sorry, I'm asking you a lot of questions. Emma, never apologize for your questions. Always ask as many as you think are necessary. Only then is it possible to learn. Goodbye. Thank you very much for this day, says Emma. She opens the laboratory door. And in the darkness, she plunges into the world that will take her back to the park where she was playing before sliding down the slide. Albert Einstein was born in Germany in 1879 and was one of the most important scientists in the history of our world. One of his great ideas was the theory of relativity. Thanks to his discoveries, he won a very important award, the Nobel Prize in Physics. Curious and brave people, clever and passionate people, there are people who change the history of the world, and Albert Einstein was one of them.
Hi, everyone. We hope you got inspired by this brave story. I had so much fun. I love meeting new friends and learning from them. That's awesome, Emma. To all listeners, see you next week for fun new adventures. Don't forget to rate this podcast with five stars if you enjoyed it. That way, more and more friends will find and hear our stories. Until next time.